Hello and welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are going to learn how to easily integrate Firebase authentication along with Jetpack Compose. So this is the outcome what we are going to learn. So we are basically going to create this very small form where there is an email and password and a register button. And on clicking the register button, if the Firebase authentication is successful, you will get a log that it is successful. Otherwise, it will display that there is a failure of some sort. So, for example, let's say if I added a email example at that example.com and I wrote some password. And if I click on a register and let's let's check the log cat. So you can see uh, it says all success and also we can check this in the firebase console also so let's do that too so yeah so you can see we have successfully added the user in our console so let us get straight into it it's going to be pretty straightforward very small video and we're going to learn how to easily add firebase authentication to jetpack compose so this is the entire project. There is going to be only just single activity. Well, I haven't created any or have, I haven't used as any design pattern as search for this particular project as I just wanted to give you a very basic introduction how to simply add the authentication to your Jetpack Compose. But in the upcoming videos, we are going to create some full fledged projects where we are going to use the design patterns as well along with the Jetpack Compose. So before actually writing the code for the main activity, there are a few things which we need to do. Where first of all, we have to create an active, we have to create a project in the Firebase and then link the Firebase to the Android Studio. If you don't know how to do that, I have provided the documentation in the description. You can go through it. For me, I have already added the Google services JSON file to my project over here. You have to do the same for, for linking the Firebase to your Android Studio project. Once you do that, then we need to add few dependencies, basically these two. The first one is for Firebase BOM, the second is for Firebase Authentication. And also we have to add the class path, which is this, for Google services. So once we have done this, the final thing which we need to do is to add the permission for the internet in the manifest, which this can be done like this. So after we have done the setup, added the Firebase Google services.json file, the dependencies, the class path and the manifest. We can move to the main activity. You can see it's pretty straightforward, nothing fancy over here. It's basically the same for what we have been doing in the past. So for this particular project, I have added a scaffold and I have provided a content as a form container. The form container is the composable function which we are going to create and I have passed the context for this particular activity. And in the form container, I have created an object of Firebase auth, which you can see over here. And then we have created a composable column, which, which is going to have two outline text field and a button. The column is pretty straightforward. You can see it takes up the maximum size, the width and the height and has a padding of 8 dp. And inside the column, I have declared two variables which is email value and password value which is going to serve the purpose of remembering the values in the email outline text field and the password outline text field for that we have used the remember lambda function and i have made sure that the email values of type mutable state then for the first outline text field we are going to add the label which is text i mean uh, we're going to add the label which is email the type of keyboard which is keyboard type is email then the value which is going to be email value dot value which is this single line is true because we don't want to have multiple line as input then the modifier we have used is to provide the maximum width so that it takes the entire width of the screen and on value change we are updating the value with the email value and for the password the most of the attributes are pretty straightforward pretty similar to the above where the label is password single line is true Keyboard is password, value is password.value, modifier is the maximum width and on value change is the password value. So whenever the password value changes, the on value is triggered. And uh, 
for just there is one small change which or one small attribute we need to add which is called visual transformation and passed the value as password visual transformation it basically takes care of the star or the circle you see when you type a password to hide the text you have entered for the password so you need to add this and after that i provided a small space using a spacer composable and i have added the padding as adp and then finally i have added a button which is having a modifier which takes up the entire width of the screen and the text of register now in the on click is where we are going to actually write the logic for the, the registration part here we are going to use the same function which we have been doing in since this long time when we are dealing with the password or when we are dealing with the authentication with firebase we have to write auth dot create user with email and password and provide the email and password which we can get from the email value as you can see the method to get it is email value dot value dot text and i have used trim that there is no spaces and similarly for the password also and then we have added an on complete listener and have passed the context where context is the context passed in the form container and i'm checking if the task is successful if it is successful i am logging it as success otherwise i am logging the exception so you can see it's pretty straight forward nothing fancy it's pretty much similar to what we have been doing when we are dealing with bigger projects this is not the way to actually integrate it we need to modulize the code we need to make sure that we are following a design pattern so in regards to that we are going to definitely work with design patterns and create full fledged projects in the upcoming videos please be sure to subscribe to my channel and like the video if you find this useful and please click on the bell icon also so that you can be notified for the upcoming videos and firebase also